So these uh, two processors that I bought from uh, AliExpress, this is, this, uh, these two are the two Xeon E5 uh, 2673 V3. Uh, these bad boys have 12 cores each, 24 threads. That's uh, 48 in total, of course. Uh, 48 threads and 24 cores in total. Uh, I bought this along with this motherboard uh, TAD. Uh, this is going to be part of a, a workstation build that I've been planning. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to test fire it now, but I'm still waiting on uh, 256 gigabyte uh, ECC memory that I'm supposed to, getting, to be getting. Uh, this board supports up to 25 uh, to uh, 256 gigabyte, uh, 32 gigabyte in each DIMM slot, uh, R DIMM slot, sorry. Uh, obviously, it's an R DIMM slot. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to test the processors right now, see how they work, and uh, yeah, we'll uh, get more into that right now. And as you can see, I've installed the processors into uh, the system. Of course, the system works and everything. And over here, I have CPU Z uh, pulled up. So as you can see, it's the Intel Xeon E5 V3 uh, Haswell chip, based chip, yeah. Socket uh, 2011 V3. The max TDP on this uh, processor is 105, uh, 22 nanometers. Uh, the voltage currently is, yeah, just playing around 06, 08, 09, up and going. But yeah, this is uh, the Xeon E5 2673V3. I have two of those. This is socket one. This is socket two. Yeah. It's uh, the maximum uh, speed on this processor is uh, 2.40 gigahertz. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you have the caches over here. 32, 32, 256, and the L3 obviously is uh, 30 megabytes. Pretty good. Uh, the main board is obviously the Honanzi X99T8D, uh, as I've already said, introduced it in a previous video. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. This is this is fine. Okay, so let me, you obviously see that it says DDR4, but it's not a DDR4. I guess CPU-Z got it wrong over there. Uh, currently, I'm still waiting for my memory to arrive. I've ordered like uh, 256 gigabyte because this is the maximum capacity that this board will support. Uh, it's uh, like 8 sticks of uh, 32 gigabyte each, which totals 256. So for now, just to I just wanted to test fire these CPUs and uh, motherboard, so I'm just using uh, you know just a G skill value, eight gigabyte as you can see over there, running at uh, 106, uh, 1600 megahertz, but it's obviously a DDR3. So uh, yeah, but it says it's a DDR4. Well, that's because you know this board is supporting DDR3, and I guess you know. These CPUs supposedly need to be need uh, like a DDR4 memory, but you know the magic of uh, technology. I guess I don't know. It's okay. It's just a tear down board. It's like a scrap board, I guess. Yeah, they just got it all together. Which slot is it installed? Let's see. Not slot three. Not slot four. Not Oh, slot 5. And on slot 5, over here in the SPD information, it does says that it's a DDR3. And, of course, it's a G-Skill, dual, blah, 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 X and Beam. See all that, all the frequency running at 160 megahertz. Obviously, you can see that here. And for the graphics, I just have a, just this uh, GT710 by NVIDIA. 
Yeah, it's just something. Yeah, by MSI. Sorry. Yeah, Nvidia card, MSI, blah blah blah. Doesn't matter. It's just something, you know, so I could, uh, you know, have uh, something. Uh, let's see. Let's bench this processor. Yeah, you got pretty good results. It's not bad. I wouldn't say good, but it's not bad too. The single thread performance right there. Not really. Yeah, it's it's not really made for a single thread support. Yeah, th a single thread uh, performance. It's more for a multi-threaded these uh, type of CPUs, but it's okay. So yeah, this is pretty much it about this uh, CPUs, these two Xeon 2673 uh, V3. They're pretty good, got them cheap, uh, obviously because it's a decommissioned uh, processor. So yeah, this is the full assembly of uh, workstation build with the, the two Xeon processors, the 2673 V3. It's all in there, it works great. I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care.